My selfish reason for you to stay alive is simply because I need you. I need to see your beautiful smile and I need to hear you laugh. I need you in this world because it's us against the world. It's me and you together. We fight together, not alone. You are my light in the darkness. Your voice is music to my ears. I love you. I need you to stay so we can celebrate your birth and meet our favourite people. You have a purpose and your presence in my life and your words of wisdom have changed my life. Who else is gonna laugh at the rest of the world with me, huh? Believe me when I say that you are and you are beautiful. So stay strong. No story lives unless someone wants to listen. That is a quote by J.K. Rowling. Now, yes, your story at this moment may be really, really shit, and you may want to end your story. However, if you keep pushing through, one day your story will be a happy one. It will have a happy ending. This will just build you. It will build your story. It will build into who you are. You will learn from the experiences of the ditch, of the down ditch you are currently in. Keep going, and one day, you will be able to tell your story. There are a lot of reasons to why you should live, right? Because obviously, I believe we have a purpose and a reason in a life to live, to shine out our greatness, is number one. You are more than what you're going through of your trial and tribulation. Number two, you are beautiful. Number three, you are intelligent and smart. Number four, you are worth more than anything else on this earth regardless if people throw words at you that just discourages on a daily number five don't forever think that you're a loser because you're not there is the light under the tunnel when you're going through this and that in that tunnel regardless of it all through that darkness there will be the lighting in and in that out of that tunnel maybe you know your sunshine and rain and rainbows. What's going on guys? Josh here with Adventure Finder. Here to tell you today, don't give up on life because somebody out there loves you. Nothing else I do, God does. I'm not gonna lie, coming up for a reason to live was kind of hard and not in a bad way because my reason is gonna be different from everyone else's and I would have to say live for your favorite things in life. Um, You're gonna miss out on your favorite TV shows, your favorite scents, favorite food. So live for those things in life that make you happy when the rest of the world is trying to bring you down. I know that society can be ugly and people can be ugly and people bully us and society tries to tell us who it should be. Well, guess what? If we were exactly how society wanted us to be, then this world would be boring because we would all be the same. Love who you want to love. Be who you want to be. Look as you want to look. Just be happy. I know it's hard to be happy at times, but guess what? Go to those favorite things in your life and they'll bring you joy. So live for your favorite things in life and the world win. And again, don't be who society is trying to tell you you should be because that only makes us even more depressed if we think that we are failing because of others don't approve of what we're doing. Guess what? Not Everyone in this world is ever going to approve of what we are doing. And this world is cruel. But, again, live for your favorite things in life. Still alive because you can be a very important person in the future. You can be the one who will discover a remedy against cancer or SIDA. Committing suicide is giving up. Don't ever give up. Don't ever stop. You have to always be strong. Many people want to have life. They want to live, but they can't be because of issue. You have something incredible. You have something amazing. You have life. You have something that doesn't have any price. You can breathe, so keep it. Don't let anything or anyone make you give up. Problems come, but don't let yourself be defeated. You have to always be strong. Keep putting in your mind all positive stuff. Those pizza, those friends. You can go out with friends. You can do other things, but don't commit suicide. Traveling the world for me has been one of the key reasons I myself have not gone down that route. I want to see what else is out there. I want to see what else I can do. I want to see what else I can identify with. I want to see what else is out there for me. I know coming from New York, I always thought New York was it. New York was the goal. I'm never leaving New York. Once I left New York, I realized there's more to life outside of New York. There's more to life outside of the immediate things that I see around me. So I want to travel the world and I think 
that you should travel the world as well. Even if you don't want to travel the world, travel outside of your city, travel outside of your state and see what else is out there for you. Maybe whatever is in your state is making you feel like crap. Maybe whatever is in your immediate eyesight is making you feel like crap and you need to get out of that. You need to put it in your mind that there are other things out there than what you know, that what you see on a daily basis. And how are you going to see these things if you're not around to do that? So I would say traveling the world, at least traveling outside of your city or state is a good reason for you to be alive someday because the world is a big and beautiful place and there is something out there for everybody. One of the reasons I still am alive is because people are just amazing. People have kept me on the brink of life. I've been standing on bridges and random cars have just came to a complete stop on the road to try and talk you over and drag me over the side again. I've sure enough I've had an OD and collapse in the street and that kind of thing and people stop and help. That why I'm still alive is because and that's what made me think that people are always willing to help you when you need it even though times can seem dark and that there's nothing left out there there's always someone willing to help you and listen it's just not always easy to get in touch with that person sadly but there's always someone out there there are so many amazing things to see in this world and truly anyone can see them and there's something out there for everyone whether it's the moon or just the greater span of the universe amazing geograph formations massive crowd of people coming together to celebrate music or art or anything else there's always something incredible out there to see and there's only one way to see by going out setting yourself to it and getting it done truly anyone can do that no matter what situation you're in you can bet yourself to the task and get it done i believe no matter what you go through no matter what you are going through you know no matter how bad it may seem and it probably is that um probably don't want to hear it, but i think it will get better with time i think everything does get better and there are people out there that do care um and there's so much love and happiness and just kindness in the world that you just have to find it and um i think everyone can find that hi i'm andreas and i run the youtube channel andreas this life there are so many reasons to not commit suicide and the big reason for me is suicide does not end you may think it might and you might think it'll end all suffering but it does not suicide it basically it passes it on to someone else to your loved ones and there's so many people out there who do love you and I know you wouldn't want someone you love to feel any type of pain like suicide. So if you ever start having any thoughts, find a friend who you are comfortable talking to and they can help you out. I'm sure of it. Reasons not to commit suicide. I'm going to name off a few just in case one happens to have already been mentioned. Family, friends, things get better through time and work. Happiness, think, even though things may seem bad now, you will be happy in the future. It doesn't always stay this way. Those are just a few that... Roughly 12 years ago, I tried to commit suicide. I was 10,000 miles away from the people I knew, loved, cared for. I was depressed for about a year. It was the worst year of my life. I was 20, traveling, seeing the world with a group of about 40 other people. And someone found me just in the nick of times before I was able to go through it and took me out of it. This entire period is just a black blur for me. But a couple of months later, I found myself in a discussion with someone that was on the group with me. I never really had a lot of contact with this guy, but he mentioned that he's looked up to me. He looked up to me. This guy was a world champion athlete. A year or two before, he's, he was an accomplished person. He and he had friends on the group. I was alone. But he mentioned he looked up at me. That hit home. I never had an opportunity to influence anyone. And here is this guy telling me as a 20 year old kid, he looked up to me, I was inspiring him. He went on through a whole bunch of different reasons that he gave and not one of those reasons was visible to me at the time. He explained to me, he looked forward to just seeing me be, seeing me exist and going on. This was at the end of the trip and when he mentioned that he didn't know that I contemplated suicide a few times on that trip. He just mentioned that 
I inspired him. I've not done anything like this before. I've not been involved with this kind of thing. I've not done YouTube a lot. But I just wanted to, to come through and say that there's a reason I didn't manage. Last year I lost my job. But through it all, I've learned how to carry on, how to be stronger. And there's a very good reason for me, because there are people I do not know that are depending on me. For some people, I am a Casey Neistat. For some people, I am a Jake Paul or a PewDiePie. I am inspiring and influencing people without me even knowing about them. Three months ago, someone that I met a few years ago gave me a call and said, you know what, I need to have an urgent chat with you. I need advice. And I'm like, I'm not sure that I'm the right person to give advice. I'm a struggling individual myself. We, our paths crossed a couple of years ago, another one of a period where I was excessively depressed. Um, I, I have these cycles. And he said that I made such an impact on him that he wants me give him advice now on a situation where I have no control over, where I have no context of, and he asked me for advice, what would be my reaction? And for that reason, I'm saying to you, keep going, you don't know who you're influencing, the current situation sucks, but life depends on you. This is Jay from MoviesGamesBeyond.com. And I'm going to do doing an interview with Dwayne from MoviesGamesBeyond.com but it's a very serious subject, suicide. Hi, I'm Dwayne. I've got personality disorder, mental health. I've had mental health for, say, over 20 odd years. I've been sectioned, what, four or five times? Attempted suicide over 30 times. It's a day of struggle sometimes, but tell you what helps me, going to gym, it really does help me. I've got a social worker who helps me. Every time I'm, the recent suicide sense was drinking antifreeze on our own life support about six times. Um, what stops me now is a picture in my head of my mum outside of me with puffed up eyes knowing she's been crying and that's what stops me now. What other reasons? Is there any other reasons why? What keeps you from? I built a new life for myself you now. Like before, you know, it was just loads of, loads of shit were going on. My dad was dying. I lost my job. Um, bad relationship because she had mental health. Um, two people with mental health just don't clash. Well, do clash. Yeah. So it's a lot of reasons that stop me from doing it now. You've made quite a lot of yeah. positives. Yeah. You've like, had a lot of negatives, you've yeah. turned it around. Yeah, like before, it was just all positive. Um, I'm not wearing mental health for it, but I, I took drugs. Um, regret it, I, but I've been to jail. But I, I actually think going to jail was the best thing for me. Yeah, so. Turning my life, turn life around. So basically, you've been on rock bottom and yeah. there was nowhere else to go. But back up. Yeah, it's a very serious subject, and yeah. um, thank you very much for taking the time to answer it. Much appreciate it. So yes, I'm dyeing my hair. Yes, I'm in my new flat. I filmed a clip for this. So this video was a collection of people giving you reasons to live. And I'm not going to contribute my thoughts on it. I'm not putting my own reason to live out there. All of you guys on here that have seen me for any period of time know that I've struggled immensely. Suicide and all of that. For me to then turn on and say, hey, you need to live for this reason, would not only be hypocritical, but I don't think I could live up to it, if that makes sense. I think we just need to be ourselves and try and make the best of everything and I hope this video inspires you to find something in life that makes you want to be alive because there's always a reason for everyone no matter how deep down and depressed you might be there's always something to look forward to I mean hell look at me a month ago like look at where I was a month ago to where I am now that's a change and a half I hope you're doing amazing and thank you for watching links as always will be in the description down below peace guys that was really bad for an outro. Just, just bye.